chili fries. Baby fish burp. Bad writer form. One, two, three, four. Sitting on the bench. Writing's really hard. We need another snack. And that is just a fact. Oh, oh. Hi, this is Shauna. And this is Trisha. And this is Two Girls on a Bench. The podcast. We write on the bench. We snack on the bench. And most of all, we procrastinate. procrastinate. On, on the bench. On the bench. On the bench. It is a 2021 bench. Happy New Year, everybody. Happy New Year. 2021. Wow. Episode 101. Ah. Yay. It's been a doozy of a year here on the, what, wow. ninth day? Yeah, tenth this day of the year. Been a very interesting week. It's been the longest year ever so far. <laughs> this has been like, yeah, so... Just as a side note, like, I just like, you know, well, I guess that's the snack book, but I we had a pretty not New Year's Eve snack book because it just doesn't matter because the New Year uh, <laughs> started yeah. off with a bang and not a good one. Yeah, so. yeah. No, I'm still sitting here in a cast. The world has gone to shit and even yeah. more shit than before. Yeah, and way more. We kind of just watched our country, like go to shit for a little bit there what and was then... that like meme i sent yours like I, I i'm watching like the season finale of the united states <laughs> <It's>... <laughs> like... oh my gosh did you so you told me about it that thing on netflix that was like 2020 yeah we watched did you it. samuel yeah. jackson and, and i had seen a preview for it but I, I guess i didn't make the connection when you said that to me because i like didn't realize it was the same thing but the funny thing is in that so you guys go watch that because it's so funny it's what's it called it's like 2020 sucked or yeah it's like something like that the, the previews like 2020 sucked and we couldn't talk about it till now because it was still happening <laughs> and like it, i literally came out on new year's day and it was like one of those random things where when you turn on netflix you know it plays ads for you yeah it just like starts up yeah which yeah. makes me a little stressed sometimes me too i'm like I'm all, i don't, have to, I don't I want to listen to this <laughs> Just mute it. What? Just mute it. And then you don't have to hear it. It can play and you can you can browse without sometimes, with abandon. Sometimes when I'm browsing, I like get stressed. That's so funny that you said that. And that I start like scrolling really fast because I don't want to watch a preview. Oh, oh my, my God. Netflix, you guys are just this mute is it. A stupid. You're causing anxiety during COVID, our binge watching. COVID problem. Um, <laughs> Anyways, so it came on on that and it was like Sam Jackson going like, don't use the me like as like some sort of weird voiceover at the beginning. I hate that shit. And then like that's exactly like what they use his like thing. But the all the actors in it play characters who live through 2021, 2020, sorry. Yeah. And um it's Hugh Grant. And, and the he's chick like from a, he's like SNL. a historian or something. Yeah. Freaking Lisa Kudrow is like a hilarious oh like Trump God. kind of Assist, politician you know, yeah, yeah like like a character like one of his assistant people what are they called cabinet people or whatever yeah and then um what's her name from snl um who is she played like a psychiatrist in a bar she's like can i smoke yeah i'm gonna smoke oh my god you have a fucking leslie, mask on no. yeah man i can't remember her name leslie man is leslie that, something i don't think so but anyway Anyways. she's hilarious and we she's can never like remember anyone's in name. a bar yeah yeah it's perfect it's, the whole thing's hilarious, but it there's this one, but there's this British chick, and they're like, "You're the most average person in the world," and she's like, "Thank you." I know, <laughs> she's so dumb. It's so good, but though. she's like, "I've been watching this show called America, and it's like the news." And then she's talking. I mean, she's talking about like our basically the U.S. just like falling apart, yeah. And how she was watching the election, and it was like this weird game show where they had to flip all the states over, and they were like blue or red, yeah, yeah. And she no, didn't it's understand really funny. because there weren't any questions, like. <laughs> It's just so funny. It's just a big, oh, yeah. It's a it's a lovely best. piece of comedy that will give you some time to sort of just laugh, decompress, and just be like. <laughs> it was Jesus. like the perfect thing to watch, though. It was like the kids were playing their new video games or whatever. I sound so old. Video games. <laughs> They're playing the video. They're games playing the VR. With that crazy music. And uh, 
rock yeah. and roll. Aaron and I were like, we can watch TV with no one here, like, but we can't watch something too like adult. I mean, I don't know what that would be like. What porn in our living room? <laughs> Just kidding. But um, you wouldn't watch like Catherine the Great, right? There's, like a bunch of sex exactly. scenes in it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So like that came on. <laughs> <laughs> I'm all, normally, that's normally what we watch. after you know 20 something years of marriage we're just like the kids are upstairs and want to go at it and watch porn with your leg this is start with my leg in a huge purple cast he's all ow ow stop kicking me oh my God. anyways moving so on from bad. that visual wow, that um was good so yeah so that was funny and uh, so anyway we got off on a side note but that pretty much sums up the how leslie we chick feel. she goes i would say it was like a shit fire and it was a like a shit storm and a dumpster fire but that would be unfair to shit and dumpsters <laughs> <laughs> something like that it was like perfect yeah. i'm like exactly and then it kept going yeah it kept moment <laughs> of silence for our country i, know, I just like stared at you on mall yes it did yeah, it's been it's been rough, but you know, we will all continue on and we've decided again. <laughs> How many again, years this is again. This is three this will be three years in February for us. Three years of us telling you in January that we're gonna get all our stuff done. So <laughs> Well, we wouldn't be on brand if we finished yeah. anything. <laughs> Oh, okay. So that's good. Right. Um, we have to stick to it. But I actually went, was looking because we, we did make this sort of plan. I don't know when it was. Maybe when you had your surgery. Or it was, it was I was on, my on birthday a, I was or, heavily I don't know. medicated yeah. when I made this plan. Yeah. She committed to it. <laughs> I was well, like, sign here. Me um, and Percocet think that's a great idea. <laughs> Poor Trisha. Uh, she had I'm gonna, surgery. I'm I don't think a, we've talked to, we haven't been on since you had your surgery, have we? Yeah. No, I had it like. Right two, before Christmas. Two days before Christmas because insurance reasons. <laughs> like, I had to get it done in 2020. I'm kind of glad you just did it, though. Aren't you? I mean, even though yeah. it sucked, aren't you glad you just got it over yeah. with? And no, you're not, like, was... now, like, saying, oh, I'm going to have to do it next week or yeah. something. Yeah, no, it was a decent time to be off work because it was a little slower. And my kids were off school, so I could, like, send them to grandma's house. And, you know, it worked yeah. out. And, uh, yeah, so my fifth metatarsal that I broke for the second time at the beginning of quarantine never healed so um my over 40 year old body was like fuck you and your stupid foot so we fixed it they put a little plate on it pulled the bones together and i dropped trisha off to get our surgery <sighs> and she said to me as she exited the door she said i don't want to do this that's how you said it too and it was just like i was like i know I didn't. sorry bye and, and you I just was like, like walked into the if i come center. out of this yeah luckily it was oh, outpatient no. trisha was like you know giving me like my birthday present that day and all because your christmas she didn't presents. think she was gonna live through it and i was like you're kind of like stressing me out right now like this is like an outpatient procedure like why are you gonna die and you're like we just don't know it's <laughs> anesthesia <laughs> man you never know i've survived i don't think i don't know if i could survive another one though so i can never fall down again except i already did. fell down today <laughs> i was transferring from my crutches <laughs> to my knee scooter with all words that make me sound 85 <laughs> And I slipped off the end of my knee scooter and bashed my my knee on the floor. And I watched her do it because yeah, I was, was carrying was like, like 12 motion. notebooks and like yeah. food. And I just looked at you and I was like, shit. And I tried to help <laughs> you, but it was too late. You just it was so quick. Right. I just I was like, I'm, I'm a, sorry. But I'm like, what would I have done? I'm ashamed to say in the last three weeks, this is the second time I've done that. So. My knee is like hurting me now, so that's good. I'm like, anyways, I'm gonna be bionic when this is over, and that's she's gonna be like amazing. Iron Woman. You have like iron in your foot or something. I do. Right? I, now, when yeah. they say, "Do you have any metal in your body?" I can be like, "Yes, I do." <laughs> Whoever's who's, who's gonna ask you? They that? do. They ask you that, like I guess before you have surgery, because that's what I just had. <laughs> and I was like, after this, I will. Because in like case the they airport? have to do like a, now I'm going to make all the airport things beep. Like, because when flying. they want, when we're they all want, flying so many yeah, places right. right now. <laughs> when they want my foot, good time to have metal on your foot. They'll be like, don't have to go anywhere. They'll be like, beep, 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 beep
<laughs> you're watching me. I'm using my hand like I have a little <laughs> wand. Wanding my a- foot on the podcast. This is good. We started out really well. This Should is- we start over? <laughs> <laughs> no. Actually, I'm too lazy to start this over. This <laughs> is the quality that everyone's been waiting this for. This is what you for get. The new year. Okay, well, so I found a bunch of old notebooks, and in it, oh, yes. I found a quote that's so small that I don't know if I'm going to be able to read so, it. Okay, so that tea was good earth tea, right? Yeah, we used to get good earth tea, and they had little um, quotes on the tag. The tea like is the gone, tea though, bag. right? I haven't seen it in a long time. It, I haven't really it, looked for it, though. It, I believe it went under or something, because I remember finding some on my desk God, several years ago, delicious. like 10 it years ago. like really like cinnamony. Oh, like... so good. I want some right now. I know. And so I, I we used to keep, but the little tags on the tea bags always had quotes, and they were yes. like pretty cool. And we used to like clip them and put them all over the place. Like, oh, yeah. And I have them pinned in notebooks I found uh, upon looking for them today. Um, so here is a quote that I found from a good earth tea bag from 2000 and blah, 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 Seven? Know, a long time ago. <laughs> Artists who seek perfection in everything are those who cannot attain it in anything. Eugene Delacroix, 1798 to 1863. He gave us so the year. He like, um, Eugene created the LaCroix sparkling water. <laughs> In case you are wondering who that was. We're so dumb. I thought the same thing when I read it. I was like, LaCroix, like the drink. And I'm like, I don't even know who this is. But I like the quote, obviously. Because when you seek perfection in everything, you can't attain anything. Which is our problem sometimes. Which is the theme of today's podcast. Because we are going back and going forward. And we found some old notebooks. And it's really funny, you guys. So this is basically like like pee pee law, but a, but another vein of it somehow without traveling, just us being mean to each other on paper. So we're gonna go through some of that later, and then uh, we have a writing thing, and yeah, it's fun. Okay, bye. Uh, <laughs> I'm drifting off now. <laughs> I don't know what happened to me, Mom. I'm drifting off now. Do you like comedy? Do you like animals? What about science? Do you dig plants? What about writing, snacks, rambling, and rants? Filmmaking, improv, and interviews, Canadians, Australians, boating forecasts, and super reviews, perfectly big packages popping up, podcasts pointing people to discover other podcasts. Check out the Podfix Network, podfixnetwork.com. Plus, check out Podfix Presents, wherever fine podcasts are found. The Podfix Network, artist owned and loved. snack book okay we're gonna do a snack book here yes. it is again 2021 <laughs> snack, book. snack book it's not a diet snack book it's well, just a regular hey 2021 is really starting off in a place where i need to go get chili fries and that's <laughs> what i did and you were like you weren't like do you want chili fries you were like i'm getting chili fries <laughs> You yeah. went like you in like yeah. I was like, you go. want some, and I'm gonna get fried zucchini too. <laughs> and this is a place that has been around since we were in college. P and L Burgers. Yes, and it's it's like the best greasy spoon. Like if you want oh like gosh. some yummy pastrami, and if you, you want to go like all out, chili fries. This is the place. It gives you a huge covered in. We didn't even take a picture, did we? Did I you did. Take, I took oh, a you picture. good. And good. I got fried zucchini because when we were oh, in man. college, fried zucchini was like, and we were debating also like, has it changed over the years? Because it seems like, like it, was, it used to be big strips. It, I, it was almost. Yes, it like was. Like if you cut a zucchini into In like thin. quarters or something. No, like um like, like long pieces. Yeah. Yeah, like if yeah, if you cut a zucchini into four and right? then like a yeah. small zucchini. Yeah. But yeah, and so and breaded and fried and it then was you have big, ranch. bigger strips. They now were, they're more the size of french fries. They're a little smaller now. Yeah, but I mean they taste the same. Yeah. <laughs> they do. Doesn't really matter. They do. <laughs> and they're really good. It's like not like a it's not too greasy. It's almost like a drier batter. Like it doesn't, yeah. it's not too heavy. It's, it's really nice. yummy. So we had, so now that we're doing a great review for PL, go <laughs> team, local business. Um, and yeah, so we had that. And I was like, I don't care. New Year's resolutions. Look, I'm not drinking. Okay. Yeah. All right, everybody. All right. I'm all angry. 
um, I had a bad day yesterday and I was like, why did I like stop drinking? Oh, cause it's January and you're supposed to do that. But like, yeah. you're supposed to like quit everything. I, I, t- I told broke you it all, but then I just gave up and I, I'm not instead. I'm not quitting everything. I'm just, I told you, I'm just going to continue to like get up in the morning. And- yeah. What are we going to do? Like, we're going to try and eat good. I'm just going to try and yeah. not be terrible people and exactly live this stupid covid life forever it's getting really bad guys keep your mask on cover distance and clean cdc yeah, okay very, anyway. yeah california is where Public we are located and it is cray cray it is horrible especially in la yeah and, like hearts out to all our buddies out there it sucks so we are just gonna eat chili fries okay so sometimes we need some chili fries so sometimes you just eat chili fries and it's and fine. You move on. And you have a sparkling water because you're mean, not drinking. Most of the week I had lentil soup from you, which was very healthy. I made a big pot of lentil soup in my instant pot. I ate so much for lunch one day I didn't have dinner because it it's very fills you up and it's like the meal that keeps on giving. Like lentils <laughs> look tiny, but when they're like expand in your stomach and like it's fiber and protein. I don't know. It's actually like the healthiest shit it's ever. It's super yummy. Like, it's honestly. satisfying and it's really good. So so there was a big lentil soup party. It was also your son's birthday because yes. there's a birthday every two days. Every month. Between December and January. And next for month, us. February, the beginning of February, it is my husband's birthday and right. my dog's birthday. But at least there's not any more holidays right now. Jeez, I'm so glad. I mean, it's until just Valentine's like, Day. No, that doesn't. That's not like a real holiday. It only counts at school where. You know, you have to like do uh, shit for that when you, yeah. elementary school. Elementary over school. Here. Nobody yeah. cares about it after Dollar that. Tree. <laughs> but like, yeah, I forgot about that. That's funny. Now that my kids are older, I don't care about anything. Um, so <laughs> <laughs> different than I meant. The to end. <laughs> no, but it's just yeah. You don't. I forgot about that stuff because I'm like, oh, I don't who cares about Valentine's Day. Um, <laughs> my five, six year old. He's six now. <laughs> He's six. He's he's, a, six. he's fun. We celebrated his birthday and yes, had a good time. Yes, and um, Trisha made a big cake shaped like a giraffe. Yes, he. I was like, "What kind of cake do you want?" And he was like, "It has to be a surprise." And then he looked, turned and whispered to me, "A giraffe." <laughs> and I'm like, "I mean, he's watched me make. You know, I made a Totoro cake for Lisi, which is an anime character." Apparently this, that was your very year, famous. Or I guess it's this over the this, year. Yeah, this the last this, this season, this, this birthday season, the children's birthday season of cakes has been <laughs> impressive. I should probably do like a thing with all the four cakes. So it's like Totoro cake, Jack Skellington for your daughter. The skateboard cake was amazing. The, the skateboard for cake Alan, to end all cakes, and then a giraffe. So I did four. You know, the giraffe was great. Yeah, you did a good job. It with turned that. Was like out freehand, pretty cute. Yeah. So. We're, we're like going to eat it and then it's like oh we're gonna just like you know munch on mr giraffe and then and then logan's like i don't know not the head yeah and he goes i don't and we're like okay not the head we won't eat like we'll eat like the bottom part of the right <laughs> has a really long weird. neck and, but then he goes because i love it That's what he, said. <laughs> he was very sweet he's freaking cute as he heck, was you guys. Oh he my God, was a, a little doll and uh so What's funny about that is my mom used to make these Santa cookies when I was, and you've seen the Santa cookies. Um, and she used to find, she used to wrap them in, in uh, cellophane individually, yeah. right? Because there's frosting involved and paint and it's a lot. So she used to find the faces wrapped in cellophane in my top drawer of my dresser when I was his age. Because you would save them. I would save them because I couldn't eat Santa's face. I would only eat his beard. So I get that, like loving something so much that you yeah. can't eat its face. Like I get That's it. Sweet. Yeah. I guess he is your kid. I mean, just not that, like we, that, we're that cracked me up. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure he came I out of me. I remember that <laughs> when that happened. So do you, Logan? Yeah. Yeah. No, he's the best. All righty. So, so that was a snack book. Okay. We okay. just had chili fries. We had zucchini. There was ranch involved. It was delicious. And and you know what? That's okay. Yeah, you got to give yourself a pass 
sometimes. I'm giving, I've been giving myself a pass for like a <laughs> Me year. too. Like 10 years of passes. <laughs> it's, like, it's all right. This year in particular, 2020, this past year, I should say, yeah. it was a big pass of just like, yeah, whatever. But you know what? We're still here. Mm -hmm. We're still doing stuff. Yeah. Like you said, we get up every day. That's right. Well, and you've, you've made us quite the schedule. So let's get to write it, bitch, right? And then we're going to go over our goals. Yeah. Should we? When, when's the when's the vault? Or we could do the vault first. We can discuss it off the air. <laughs> we do I'm that. all, I don't know what's going to happen. Oh, now. my God. <laughs> so I, I don't know what's going to happen either. So when you keep listening one minute Something's from gonna now. Something's going to happen. is either going to be the vault or write it, bitch, everybody. Da, da, da. Or maybe something completely different. <laughs> okay. Write it, bitch. I almost like hit play instead of record just now. Okay, hopefully we're recording. We're recording. Okay, good. No, I just, I, I just, it boggles my mind how stupid I am about things on the recording front, even though it's been going on for three years. Well, you know what? <laughs> you do a lot of things. We all can't be perfect, okay, Shana, including okay. me. Well, and you Anyways. do a lot. You make cakes. <laughs> you have a job also that's really big. All and right. then also you this do is this. is my tiny violin. Me, me, me. me. Okay. Okay. So, so this is the vault write it bitch because we couldn't decide if it was going to be a vault or a write it bitch. It's a combo. Clearly. It's a double um, header. As you heard. So it's a double feature. We just dipped the vault into the write it bitch or we have dipped the write it bitch into the vault. <laughs> Somebody was dipped somewhere. So we we found so we've been digging around and we made some goals in and, our digging around in our archives of writing yeah, and and like the many <laughs> notebooks which I'll, I'll put a picture out of but we you know we've been doing trapper this for keepers. a long time we have these trapper keepers that have a lot of good stuff in them <laughs> we took like a directing uh, no a <laughs> film directing class at UCLA. <laughs> Shauna, it was like a night, like a adult school like situation class. It was so weird, and it was um, yeah, it taught was by this random dude that had like directed a bunch of like TV really bad and, movies, like weird movies, and I don't remember what. We have all these notes to each other in it, and uh, it was fun to look through and remember. You took a what did you take an editing class? Or? I took a final cut final pro cut class. class. with like people that actually work in the industry. I mean, the things that we've done. You think we'd... <laughs> Shauna found a pile of headshots from a little theater in North Hollywood <laughs> that oh, yeah. she went to like a woman in theater thing. We were going to do something. That was way back. So I used to live in North Hollywood in like what's called the NoHo Arts District or whatever. There's a bunch of little tiny like And there's a bunch theaters. of theaters there and they yeah. actually do some really good little stuff. Little storefront sort of theaters. And my husband was in a show in one of the theaters there and um, randomly I came across this women in theater group and I just like went because I always used to do stuff like that where I'd just be like, there's a thing. And I'd just go to yeah, it. You know, yeah. I did that a lot when I was younger. And like it was a weird group of people. And it was a lot of women that were actresses. And they, apparently they all gave me their headshots. I had like six or seven headshots. Oh, I'm like, yeah. What is this folder? Yeah. It was bizarre. <laughs> anyway, so. <laughs> That was a weird so thing I did. case for casting for anyone that is now, what, 20 <laughs> From, years yeah, older than their photo. That's going to be a senior cast have to cast look them all ladies. up and see how they've aged or what they I are. they're still working. What they look like on IMDb. Some of them were working. They'd been on, yeah. like, episodes of, like, ER, and one was on an X-Files episode. What about Law & Order? Them? I mean, you got to have that shit on your resume, at least if you've been working that long. So they <laughs> House. were making it happen. This is before House, I think. This was yeah. a long time ago, Yeah. Trisha. Okay. All right. Like 2003 or something, maybe. That's when I lived so, in Hollywood. Okay. So then we lived in the valley and we found a scene that I think you typed up after it happened. Or did we type it up together? I don't this even was, remember. Yeah. This was like way later than that. When and we, ha we actually owned houses at this point. Yeah. Yeah. So but before kids. Before kids. But you were in your little. I think I was in my first little house there. Yeah. And uh, yeah, we were in your backyard, right? Your backyard. Yeah, we were sitting in my backyard. We used to write a lot back there, actually. That's where we wrote on your Mr. little Coconut. patio. Yeah. yeah. On the table that and you, you had. had. 
bought the table I got at a thrift store, store when we first got our first apartment out of college. Like memory lane, you guys. No, we like just shared the same furniture for quite a Whenever while. Whenever either one of us had any sort of barbecue, we would pack that fucking table. <laughs> it was not like a folding table. It was like a <laughs> it was like an old Formica, Formica <laughs> like oval table with a leaf in the middle, like a f- almost great. like a sixties sort of table. It, it had like great, these little metal forever. chairs. I think we just got rid of it because we got like our normal patio. It was set. great for like painting on and stuff because it had like a very slick, like you could <laughs> it washed up really nicely. I had it in my kitchen, in my old house for a long time, and then it was like in our either one of our backyards depending on yeah who maybe it. it moved from my backyard to your house when i got i don't know anyway so this it's is a long story that will never resolve table but, stories you know so we were sitting at the table and we saw something sitting and then at the table this is kind of our conversation and maybe we it was like no this just seems like this was just a slice of reality i don't even think we're i think it would be other comboed characters. a couple no we were just us but we comboed a couple things i don't know what we were gonna do with this i think we were gonna put it in something like a short we just thought it was funny and i like the conversation we were having and i think i just wrote it down and then i don't know what we were gonna do with it. Right, so we're gonna read it right now that's I what we're gonna do yeah with it. i haven't reread the whole thing but it, i read the first couple lines i'm like we should just read this for our writing prompt today so let's just read it so this is called curtain possum scene <laughs> that's just what it's we're called. not good at titles you guys <laughs> as you will see in a little bit <laughs> God. more to come all right so we're gonna just read this dialogue it's trisha shana trisha shana so trisha will start and then you will be able to figure out who's who okay <laughs> he just can't commit he cannot commit to anything Last year, we looked at all the curtains, and they were missing one panel. And I was like, we can go to the other store and get it. And he was like, maybe we should wait. A year later, I still have no curtains. No curtains. I got over myself. I committed. I knew what I wanted, but no. No. Now I want brown (laughs) curtains. I don't want brown curtains. It's like he's oppressing you. It's all these masculine colors, but they make the house look small. Yeah. I bought the comforter. Remember when I bought the comforter? Yeah, I was there. It was good. Drinks a swig of our wine. He loves the comforter. He mentioned it while we were trying to buy curtains. He loves the fucking comforter. God damn it. But for some reason, he has to be part of the process of the curtains. You let him in. You shouldn't have let him in. I can't go back. <laughs> I can't undo the picking of the curtains. He already knows. He knows too much now. So just... Wait, you just need to go buy them. He wants to paint the room first. Jesus fucking Christ. We'll never paint the room. It's all about terracotta versus various shades of beige. (laughs) Which wall? Do we paint all the walls? Will it match the black and white photos on the wall? You'll never paint the room. Which wall? The wall that connects to the kitchen. Oh, that would look nice. A little splash of color on the one wall. It would look fucking great. It'll never happen. Oh my God. Is that a possum? And a rat? Do possums eat rats? Maybe one of them will back down. Can they turn around? Can possums walk backward? It's like the (laughs) nature channel in your backyard. Please don't eat each other. My dog will go crazy. What if they fall a fiery death into your (laughs) cactus? Please don't fall. That rat turned around. The possum turned around. Oh my god, the rat is chasing the possum. That possum is such a bitch. funny oh uh, we're funny shauna uh, we're hilarious that's funny that is probably literally like the whole first part of like no <laughs> you're just nope. like no nope. damn it no yeah, curtains. never <laughs> i love it that was a funny scene okay this is pretty much how we talk so I it's know. very real you know <laughs> it's very realistic it's like it's like how we talk with a little bit of editing yeah, just a <laughs> little it, more refined. It's like how we talk, but someone went through and found the funniest way of saying it that we would have thought of later after the conversation. <laughs> yeah. Except that someone was us. It's like if we had this podcast, but like somebody, not Trisha though, somebody rewrote it, like rewrote it <laughs> and took out all the stupid stuff. And, just, just and then, yeah. Just took the nuggets. Yes. You know, instead yeah. of the rambling. It probably took four hours for us to have that conversation instead of like the yeah, two right. minutes clearly just there was drinking going yes, on a glass of wine much editing 
God, Anyways, that was, that was fun. Okay, so what else have we unearthed in our Oops. writing? Sorry, uh, I just like it's all good. Did something annoying on sound? Oh, um, we're gonna bring something back we found in one notebook. Um, we so used to go like go ahead. No, what were you gonna say? So I said we used to go places and write all the time. Like and we didn't have <laughs> kids to get away from, but we used to go to like. I don't know, little restaurants and stuff in the valley and like hang out yeah. and write. We used to go to this one place called Hearts and it was just like this little like cafe. Another like greasy, greasy spoon. Greasy spoon. It wasn't like fancy. Like, if you watched like, my cafe's name Cafe is not even a good word for it. It sounds like fancy. But yeah. it's like literally had a counter and a couple tables. It was really small. If you watch My Name is Earl, they filmed it right there and they used Hearts in the show oh, a yeah. lot. All like the time. it was like the, the diner. Lot. Yeah. <laughs> So we lived right where they filmed My Name is Earl, which I don't know should be like a bragging moment for me <laughs> because it was like kind of a podunk a like town. A down. But yeah, it but was a little run down. We loved place. it. I don't yeah. know why and I don't remember what we used to eat there or if we just we, got coffee. We would get like, we loved a good like breakfast potato or something like that. So we yeah. would get like eggs and potatoes or hash browns or yeah, and I just don't like know. a bunch of coffee. coffee. I don't remember eating crappy lunch like there. diner coffee. Yeah. They had pie. I feel like we used to go for like it was like breakfast. a family run place. So yeah. we used to go there and sit there and write. And then we would also go to the liquor store had a little oh, the liquor store. The liquor store had a little sandwich shop area in the back with like an unfinished like bench. And we so, <laughs> it was a bench. Yeah. So this this liquor store actually comes back it around. We script. actually wrote it in a script yeah. that we're going to actually bring back out, um, which is fun. So anyway, we so in this notebook. OK, so there's I feel like there's so many things. So we have this script that we wrote, which I think we've mentioned it's a story about 20 something year olds that are uh, living in the 90s and what's the log line do we have a log line? so we um, submitted this to a screenwriting competition yeah a long no time ago. let me what try the fucking log so line? like <laughs> so uh, a group of 20 somethings as they try and figure out like the rest of what the rest of the lives is going to hold. Uh, the main character is a uh, aspiring painter and muralist named Ronnie, and um, it's, it's a circumstances around her and her roommates and boyfriend boyfriends and friendships and hilarity ensues. <laughs> kind of, yeah. but like really, it, it all takes place in the valley. So a lot of it is like using a lot of these places we used to frequent when we lived out there in, mm -hmm. in California. Um, is it's like if if you were to see the visuals um, in this, it like really is kind of a love story, our like little love story to the valley because we really love the diversity in the valley. Yeah, it is. So That's a like, nice way to say it. You it's would a have love story like to the valley. You know, Aww. you have like a little Jewish deli you go to. You have the liquor store with like this guy that I think he was like like Russian, a Russian guy that would like yell at Armenian. us and like bang yeah. on the counter and There's we liked this it. Little donut shop we go to <laughs> with this little I don't even know where she was. She was Asian. Uh, little lady who like with a really thick accent and who would always knew like my coffee order when oh, I was Oh yeah, she in. always knew what we wanted. Yeah. And so it was like that everywhere we went. It was like it's kinda like small town but like a very wide like <laughs> big small town. <laughs> it, um, like the small town feeling because you, if you frequent in the same places they did get to know you, but like a wide, um, diverse group of people. I oh, know it's all over all the place. All different people yeah. from all over the place. So um it's really, you know, it's more compact than like Los Angeles where so you can experience all these things and not be so it's not so spread out like it's yeah it's you're right it is kind of our love story of the valley I didn't think of it that way but it really is especially the more I reminisce about it so that's the script we've rewritten it several times we <laughs> submitted it to a film and it was film independent right yeah like screenwriting competition like new screenwriters whatever like i don't know in the early 2000s maybe i'm not we sure got feedback was. and it was it was decent like there was some criticism but they it was gave us constructive coverage isn't that what it's called yeah coverage when they give you like feedback yep and we were like, eh. but then we were like, because we, because we're bitches, and we were like, we're 
script is perfect. And then we were like, uh, and then we were like, our script sucks. No, and then, then, and then we got it. down on our script yeah. for a long time. <laughs> we're like, fickle, Shauna and I. Yeah, we're like, we love our script. We'll go to like battle for it. And then we're like, fuck you. We hate you, script. And you're our bitch now. And then, yeah, so it just, it got really like contentious. At a certain for a point, time. we decided, which was sort of a stupid idea, to rewrite it for like the 2000s and add in iPhones and iPods and change like I, I and, uh, there's a reference to like MySpace in, in at one point and like we're going to go back to the original 90s and strip right. that back out of it because there was none of that in the well sort of and the idea. references are like super dated but that actually makes it better nostalgia now. yeah it makes yeah. it nostalgia now but we were in a weird time the early 2000s were such a undefined era it I was feel weird like. yeah so um yeah so we'd that's... rather have this be around about the gen x situation which obviously we're gen xers so that's we were writing what we knew it's a love letter to our younger selves and the place where we live yes oh Aww. see that's a perfect because it should just be like one sentence so well but nobody knows <laughs> They're all to yourselves. Oh, We're who are you? in. We're in. <laughs> no, they'll be like, yeah, that's exactly what I want to see. They're like, we're going to line this up. Who do you want to be in this movie? Yeah. And we'll be like. Dream team. Well, the actress who want to play the main character is too old now. So but she can play the older sister. <laughs> and I'd like to put her in that role instead. And I think she's going to like it. Oh and I think God. she might want to produce it. I'm just kidding. I do too. We should just call America her. Ferrara. Are you available? <laughs> so I think Superstore's ending. So I feel like she's gonna have a little time now. You know what? So we um we the the love story in it is between uh Latina. Is that where the right way? Latina girl. Well, we say Latinx now. Latinx. Whatever you want. Latinx woman. She's a Mexican American woman. I will and say to be specific. A French expatriate. No, he's not French anymore. That was an early version. Oh, he's not French. No, not anymore. What? So, okay, but he was French at one point because we had an actor friend we wanted to, we were like kind of writing it for, right? So anyways, scratch that, but we found a list <laughs> of titles. And so one of the titles, oh, yeah. I was like, Where are you going cause we're really this? bad at titling things. So the, the working title right now is waiting to begin, but the, one of this really bad titles was croissants and frijoles <laughs> so i that's what i was getting to because we found all this old stuff so yeah there was like another title oh, was idealism it? takes a holiday oh yeah that's like literally <laughs> Which the is theme of the year where maybe? we have we, mm. we have decided that's the theme of january and we have renamed this episode to be that as well yeah so, so ideas anyways but okay, so then we had something that we called the bad writer form, which I guess was like I don't know a detention slip or something. It, like I yeah. don't really know what this. Is. I don't either. It big it's, big marker. It's something that apparently we get very angry and then At each other for being stupid. and then give each other like a a form like yes. a talking to. So this is bad writer form number one that I found, and the cause. <laughs> Is Trish a bad French speaking idea? I don't know what that means. I don't either. Trisha's bad French speaking idea and the punishment. <laughs> Sounds funny. <laughs> so that's why there's French. It's good that you explained yeah, that actually because sorry. I forgot about him being French and then we changed it to him just being like a dude, American. a guy. Yeah. Um, the punishment is 30 lashes with a wet wheat noodle. <laughs> I guess that was when wheat pasta was coming out. Dude, so gross. <laughs> and then I have like a quote, just a Shauna quote. I know when I can't fuck it up, at that point I can suck it up. <laughs> Shauna, April 2007. Apparently right? I wrote that down. <laughs> like it was like for posterity. Okay, what are the other ones? No, oh. this is the best <laughs> one. So here's another bad writer form. The cause, maybe Vincent, the main character, will love interest has puppets <laughs> the punishment <laughs> is death by chocolate fudge fountain <laughs> at one point i got two chocolate fudge fountains for christmas and it like stressed me out i think that's why that came into play you were so worried about it and then we never even used it did we uh no i gave one to our friend heather oh, who really wanted, wanted it and then did you ever use it i don't remember ever like coming over and having some chocolate, chocolate fountain. fountain i don't think i did i think i gave the other one away too it's really yeah. messy I don't know. I don't know. We were so stressed out about it. I was so stressed out about it. And then 
for some Between reason that and the curtains i don't know how you made it out of that <laughs> out of your 30s <laughs> So much anxiety (laughs) over curtains and chocolate chocolate. fountains. So then it just says baby fish burp. (laughs) And baby fish burp. So so you guys might have heard of this one movie called When Harry Met Sally. (laughs) There's this movie. Just kidding. Um, If you listen to our pod fix interview with Toph, uh, there's a whole thing about that. But anyways, (laughs) when they're playing charades and when or not not charades, win, lose or draw or whatever, like Pictionary. Pictionary. Thank you. Win, lose (laughs) or draw. I think that was a show. I am so old. (laughs) That was a Pictionary show. Yeah. But they're playing Pictionary and they're trying to guess something and someone says baby fish mouth yeah and they're like what the hell what is, is that, that you and know? so i don't know where baby fish burp <laughs> came out but <laughs> baby fish burp is a character i apparently drew on everything <laughs> and finding little like sketches of baby fish burp. so it's like bad writer form and then it says baby fish burp and it doesn't say who this ba- bad writer form is too like who thought vincent <laughs> had puppets it I could think be either one of us it but you. it might have been you oh, oh. but well the death <laughs> Well, the death by chocolate fudge fountain seems like something that would really terrify you at that point. Oh, because point. I already had two of them. So, I yeah. don't know. So what does it say at the bottom? It I looks can't... like I wrote them. So maybe yeah. I was handing out you the bad writer like, form. I am in charge of bad writer form. So what yeah. does it say on the bottom? It says, I am charming. Wait. I am charming and hybrids. So why the fuck do I? Handsome, maybe? What? I oh is wait, it, I am charming and hilarious. Oh. So why the fuck do I get bad writer forms? Oh, oh. that's about me then. Oh, you wrote that to me. Yeah. You were char- you I'm were charming, charming and, hilarious. and hilarious. Gotcha. Okay. Gotcha. This is a weird like baby fish mouth is wearing a diaper <laughs> and has a pacifier. This one. We're gonna take pictures <laughs> of these. Why baby fish burp. Baby fish burp. Sorry, baby fish mouth burps. Burps mouth. <laughs> Pacifier and a diaper. <laughs> I don't know. I was thorough. You about, were like mad about it, about but then it was just weird. Ugh. And then there's like a drawing of, that I did that I used to do in elementary school of like a sun over like a horizon with it's a beautiful. lollipop rose. Well, you did that. Oh, I did because yeah. I didn't do lollipop roses. Okay. Was your thing. Anyway, there's a lot These of like funny, really ridiculous stuff in here, but also a lot of our. our this is actually our original sort of writing prompt stuff yes you look at the first this is this is like the notebook with it all man like fun to find actually for us because the very first page of this notebook 21707 how long ago is that i don't do math but anyway long time and the first one is zoe's closet and we always talk about the closet yeah uh, that writing prompt like what's in someone's closet yeah and so it's it was like funny that that's 14 there. years ago. Yeah. So 14 years ago. I have to find my notebook because I also have these writing prompts and that could be kind of fun to go read some of them. This is how we really um, got to know our character yeah. character development. This you know, is basically. Oh, my God. This is so fun. Anyway, one of our favorite characters that we've ever written in our entire life. We've talked about him before. Is Josh. And he's in this script yeah and he is this is where he's fully developed golden magical yeah the best character he collects as seen on tv everything he is a huge pothead he's like everybody's best buddy (laughs) he's just like that lovable dude like he's like a i don't know he's like he'd be in like a buddy movie for sure yeah yeah he's just like a cool guy and he's like down to earth but he's kind of a fuck up, but like not totally a fuck up, but like a little bit. Yeah. Anyway, there's a lot of funny things in the script. It's just some of the best stuff. <laughs> so proud of us. I'm proud of us too. Well, we also discovered that when, when Shana was like going through her computer looking for things, we keep naming things with the word waiting in the title <laughs> as the first word. And we need to stop that. We need to come up with some new words. We need, and we, we need also to need just... to stop referring to certain things by their like yes street name. <laughs> I'm just kidding. So we make up <laughs> fake funny names for things sometimes. And one of the one of the ones that we're working on is is like a ghost story anthology situation that we're gonna are you gonna talk about the goals or whatever? Yeah, we'll talk about that. And yeah. um. <laughs> 
And we we were calling it ghost in my light bulb because the ghost forever like, keep making light keeps the ghost in the story is causing like energy things. So like light we bulbs literally, burn out on your on your uh, wall <laughs> there. There's a picture. So we also used to cut out pictures of the actors that we wanted to play the characters. To play the characters, but it was mostly to, like be- inspire. Us. Yeah, it was mostly to have a have a person in your mind yeah. to sort of move around. I don't know how yeah. else to say it, but like that's really. Um, and it could be someone we know, or it could, we would just pick actors sometimes and put a picture of them on the wall. And so there's a picture of, um, I don't know. Margo. That, I don't know who that is. Margo's the name of the character. And no it idea. says, there's a ghost in my light bulb. And so we always like call that movie Ghost in My Light Bulb, but it's actually called Near Miss. And so today, Sean, I was like, the goal for Near Miss. And I'm like, what's that? And <laughs> she's like, it's Ghost in My Light Bulb. <laughs> I'm all so AKA. We need to like in my life. actually, yeah. When once once we do land on a title, we have to stop calling our shit by the old like silly names. And we need to stop naming like things waiting croissants and frijoles. <laughs> um, waiting, 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 waiting. We're I'm gonna tell you what waiting. they're called. Waiting, waiting room, waiting to begin, <laughs> waiting for this podcast to be over. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Somebody's like, ooh, I got that one. Come right. on, guys. Yeah, we bring should wrap home. this, bring it home with our goals, Shauna. Oh, you want, I or, took or, them away, but I know Oh, what that's they are. okay. I, Actually, I sent you, you said, the note. Did you, you did. get it? Here, I tried. I don't I have always it. know if this is going to work. It did work. I, so there's well, a note function on an iPhone if you have I didn't one. open it, but here we and go. And then I sent her the note because I did open it one night notes. when I was like, couldn't sleep. Here it is. So we are... We are going to start. I don't know if we're going to rename waiting to begin the waiting. I think we will. I think we have to because the waiting room one is actually a very good title. Yeah. Th- this isn't the best. This title. is not a good title. So I don't know. Send us your title tricks. Like there's got to be like when we have to name something at work on a creative team, there's a way we like think of names for products right and there's like oh. a methodology to it like maybe there's a way to do that with titles or like some sort of word cloud we can make from oh that's oh, a good idea cloud. from our script and see what pops out Let's as the do most that. that would be look at me i solved the problem myself. never mind don't send us any ideas just we just figured you. it out we figured it out <laughs> i'm just kidding we could still use some help um <laughs> kayla everything. brett i'm talking to you <laughs> Bright titles everything. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. I don't know. We're pretty bad at pretty bad at titles. It's We're bad. All curtain possum scene. I know. <laughs> kidding. Right? Like, but early on in our wait, I just have to like throw back really quick. We would like way descriptively, kind of like a lifetime movie. Oh no, where we it's talked like, about this before. I lost my daughter and she's down the street or something. You know, that's no. like a lifetime movie title. We've mentioned this title yeah. before. I'm gonna say right now. Broken Glass, Shattered Lives, Cries from Our Silent Sisters <laughs> was one of our first plays. That's too fucking long, oh, Trisha yeah. and Shauna. No, and get this. We wrote this bilingual children's play. It was called The Adventures of Mr. Coconut and the Flying Papaya, Papaya Mobile. Yeah. And then it was in Spanish, Las Aventuras de Señor Coco y la Máquina, máquina Voladora de Papaya. Yeah. I don't know, whatever it was. So Jeez, the, I just forgot so my Spanish. So as the designer of the poster, the titles just took up like the whole thing. <laughs> it was just like a bunch of words and then a little guy with a coconut head. So we're not good at that. No. But we are good at writing, <laughs> I will say. Well, only because I started reading a little bit of the script and I was like, that's actually pretty good, guys. Good so job. So I should also add, uh, change the title. I'm going to add that to your note. Change. Because yeah. the first goal chug the title no change the title the first um title goal is to make the minimal edits that are needed to waiting to waiting to begin uh the 90s nostalgia piece uh by february 15th we're going to write and we're going to send it to people so yeah. this is the thing and get it's it out not there. so much that we don't we've have said this stuff. every every it's year. true and we said about this damn script but you know what? Now it's 2021 and everything's different. Everything's totally different in and like so many ways. So many platforms that want this script. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I know. Everybody has a lot more time to watch TV. Okay. <laughs> we are, Speaking of TV, we've got a, something called Near Miss. 
previously ghost in my light bulb, um, which <laughs> needs to have <laughs> affectionately. That's better. Um, the first two episodes written by March 30th, because we want to get that series moving. And then we want to outline the next four episodes as well by March 30th, which, you know, I think that is totally possible because we've got to like get our we've written some of the that one is another one ghost my light bulb that we worked on for like a really long time and i'm not going to say the last goal yeah Sorry. no that's okay because we'll get to that after the other yeah. one but we've worked we worked on ghost like the my characters in some of the things we've written I mean, this They're goes strong. Like I sometimes think it's from a movie I saw, except it's something we wrote. <laughs> yeah, because we like, no, yeah. we really carved those characters out, and we spent so much time talking about them. And then I found like a weird diagram that didn't make any sense. We were trying to link a lot of things together in this story, and it didn't work. And then we really got stuck on that, and then we dropped it. I think yeah. is what happened. Honestly, I just remembered another bad title. Um, we wrote a murder story, or at least outlined an idea for a murder script. And that Toby McGuire <laughs> was going to play the murderer. So Toby McGuire was going to be in this movie. I, Toby, you know, if you're still Sorry available. Yeah, I, I mean, mean, we're, we're he here. He actually still looks pretty young. Um, or we could use the guy from Harry Potter instead. He's kind of like the... Dan Radcliffe? Yeah. Mm. I don't know. Anyways, I don't know why we're debating this. Why would Dan Shana? Radcliffe be the... He's my poor man's Toby Maguire right now. I don't He's know like why. He's like the rich man's Toby. I know, Maguire. right? <laughs> so, anyways, that one though also, they don't look alike at all. But anyway, <laughs> I have a problem with that. We've discussed that before too. But that one was never had a title, and we just called that one the Diabetes Killer <laughs> because he used someone's like insulin and needles to like murder people or something like that, right? <laughs> and so that's what we called it. And <laughs> we had a picture of him on the wall too yeah, for a long time. Long, it was like my, the diabetes killer. Yeah. And it's like a horrible, horrible, horrible fake title. But again, <laughs> like that's what that story, which was pretty fleshed out. We kind of fleshed we that outlined the out whole too. thing. Like that could also be like part of the near miss episodes or something. We're trying to combine some of the spooky stuff we've written into something episodic. Like an anthology. In, kind, yeah. yeah in, or not anthology. Episodic. Instead of a. Uh, putting so much pressure to have you know eight different movies <laughs> written well and frankly like we have a lot of these sketch ideas like that would you know, work at that this way point in my life i would rather watch me too a series eight episodes or of eight black episodes mirror or of, something exactly like yeah. black mirror like the twilight the new twilight zone yeah. or like that show monster land like yes. whatever i'd rather watch yeah because a movie is, like, not enough for me anymore. I'm yeah. like, I need, like, 10 hours of I want it to keep going. Yeah. <laughs> like, I can't. I just finished Cobra Kai. <laughs> All right. I have to still do Cobra Kai. God damn it. Speak about, talk about a love letter to the Valley. Okay. Oh, yeah. Right? Anyway, sorry. Yeah, if you're wondering what the Valley is, Cobra Kai, you guys, that's the Valley. That's it. That's where, we, the karate that's where we came up in our <laughs> twenty uh, late 20s and 30s, man. Ralph Macchio. Yeah. Bring it home. Woot, woot. <laughs> Maybe All Ralph right. Macchio will be in one of our movies. Just cool. All cool. right, kids and kittens, cats and kittens. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that was a uh, weird uh, transition. Know what happened there. <laughs> Is it late? Is that why you're trying to rush me? No. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm like, we've been talking for a while. It's probably... Okay, just kidding. It's a podcast. Okay, guys. So thank you. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, it's fine. So hopefully <laughs> things are going to get better next week. <laughs> and um, keep writing. Keep snacking. Bye. Bye. <laughs> I wasn't hopeful enough. <laughs> <laughs> Idealism <laughs> takes a holiday. This has been a transmission of the Podfix Network. For more about this show and other great Podfix programs, go to podfixnetwork.com.